The problem is 98% of people are sitting on 50-50 their whole life, which means they're zero-zero. So flip a coin, to pick the one, never look back. Anybody out there? I have a big life decision to make between two choices. How do I know which way to go? You'll never know what the alternative would have been. You pick one and you never, ever, ever even consider to look back. Do you give any quick piece of advice? What should, should I, I do? do? What should I do? Gary? I don't know which Please. one to pick. Which one should, what I, should I, do? I do? So what should we do, Gary? What should I do? What should people do? Until you go through it, you won't know. I always play this out. Let's say when you go to heaven, they can show you what would have happened because that's the only way you'd ever see it. Let's just say, what people don't understand is, oh, you made the wrong call. You should have went to grad school instead of that opportunity or this company instead of that company. But you'll never believe it. You should have went to VaynerMedia and it was perfect and you rose like a phoenix and you were the head of all sound and everything went great. But then you had to go to Virginia on business and you got hit by a car and you died at 31. That's life. I passed on Uber as an investor twice in the beginning. If I did my normal $25,000, $50,000 check, I would have made $400 million which means I might have went to China for a keynote two years ago, which means I could have got hit by a bus. I really believe in that. You just don't know. You think you know, but that is not how life works. So, to, to like look at two ideas and think you can practically make a good decision is laughable. Literally flip a coin. Just pick the one that feels better right that second and make it about you. Because usually what kids struggle with is the decision they want to do versus the decision that they think they're supposed to do based on the other voices. You know, I think anybody who's listening right now, if you want to set yourself up for success, ask yourself how much risk you've taken in the first 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years of your life. You're gonna figure it out by tasting it. Should I eat this cherry? Will I like it? It, The right strategy is to eat the cherry. Right? Moving is important. Because you can change the course. You can't overthink it up front. Right. Like, you, you just can't. Like, we're always wrong. A lot of people make the wrong decision. You know, no matter what I say to your question right now, and they're scared, they'll continue to be, they won't do, they won't put in the work, or they'll be fearful, or whatever it may be, and they'll lose. I mean, a lot of people lose. Yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people lose. The way to really eliminate fear is by not giving up about anybody's opinion. My losses are mine. I'll deal with them myself. I don't need your two cents. You're losing plenty on your own. If you don't give about what people think, you can do everything. But the quicker you start, the quicker you do. I, I think people dwell. I think dwelling is the wrong strategy. I don't even respect my losses. I don't even give them the time to teach me anything. Think one time for one hour, make a decision, and go. Too many people make a decision and then cry about their decision every second. Own it, live it, sleep in that bed. And I mean that. Way too many of you dwell on your losses. It's holding you back. Literally flip a coin. Guys, the only thing I'm hedging against is regret. That's what you need to be careful of. Regret's scary. Regret. And that's what most people do. They build a life that leads to regret. Nobody old and about to die talks about what they did. They talk about what they didn't do. And you're in the best spot right now. You're in the best spot you'll ever be. Straight up. This is the time to be most thoughtful. But everybody wants you to figure out your life now. Your parents don't have their lives figured out. This is the time to taste and put yourself in good positions. You can do everything wrong for the next 10 years of your life and be young and have unlimited time to do anything you want. Thank you, Gary. Now I know which way to go. By the way, it was Tails.